took up residence in walls. Lady Lynette muttered to herself. These cellars would be the perfect place for it. She wrinkled her nose as she ran sensitive fingertips along the corridor's massive stones. Forty years of royal habitation left behind vile smells. Stone corridors pressed threateningly in on her, despite being wide enough to allow armored knights to pass with ease. They reminded her that this Norman castle, bordering the befouled River Thames, was built inside its own fortress, housing its own armories and garrison soldiers. Lady Lynette was having difficulty finding her way back to the chambers assigned to her by King Henry. The dim, darkened shadows that were her constant companions since illness took most of her sight when she was eight years old, failed to provide shapes to guide her. In these lower passageways, torches were few and far between, making variations of light and dark almost non-existent and disorienting to her. I'm lost. The realization made the hairs at the back of her neck stand on end.